majority of the illegal immigrants in the U.S. He testified before a House committee on Capitol Hill. The bishop acknowledged illegal immigration is bad and urged Congress to pursue a guest worker program. With SB 1070 set to take effect in about two weeks, tension and rhetoric about the immigration law is at an all-time high, and politicians have been saying a lot of things that may not hold water. We sent nine on your side's Claire Dewan to find the facts. Many politicians have linked illegal immigrants committing crimes to the need for SB 1070, but while they are sounding off alarms, which claims actually ring true? And how diverse our community is. On Tuesday, Governor Brewer echoed her original statement that law enforcement agencies have found bodies in the desert either buried or beheaded. We checked with medical examiners from several counties near the border. None have seen a beheading. Another claim from the governor, the majority of people coming into Arizona trespassing are now drug mules, and that's something Pinal County Sheriff Paul Babu agrees with. Oftentimes they're, they're either forced or their way into the United States is to throw a 40, 60 pound uh, backpack of marijuana on their back and that's their ticket in. So a lot of these people are co-opted into the drug smuggling. But other officials say it's nearly impossible to tell how many illegal immigrants are carrying drugs. Agents at the Border Patrol's Tucson sector have apprehended more than 170,000 immigrants since October. But prosecutors filed only 1,100 drug cases. Representative Gabrielle Giffords echoes what other politicians have said, that violence near the U.S.-Mexico border continues to increase at an alarming rate. But not so, says the FBI. Crime rates in Agalis, Douglas and other border towns have stayed flat for the last decade. Nogales police even told Nine on Your Side, their city is as safe as it's ever been. Away from the border, a statement from Senator McCain about Phoenix. It's the number two kidnapping capital of the world, according to an ABC News report. We call Phoenix PD to find out if that's true. Sergeant Tommy Thompson says kidnappings in the city have actually decreased by 30 percent in the last two years. And most cities worldwide don't even keep statistics on kidnappings. Thompson says McCain's statement can't be confirmed question that I continue to ask myself is, do other people keep stats and or are they willing to come forward with the information that they have? Now, Thompson says many law enforcement